Wow, look at this thing, guys. Commercial engine by Lawn Boy. 21 inch, two stroke. <laughs> She's a dandy, man. The dandy man can. So, all I know about this thing is that the gas tank leaks. <clears throat> so I was having a real close look just before I got you guys to come over and visit me and I think I can see it already. Do you think that's a cracko? So I'm going to just back you off. Oh, wrong way. There we are. So I'm going to get a screwdriver. Are those 5 /16? No, it's just a flat blade. I tell you, when uh, Lawn Boy makes a machine, they, they don't fiddle around. You can get out the air filter with a flat blade screwdriver. When does that happen? Never! Oh, it's Monday today. You can hear the, you can hear the garbage guys. So they got a five million dollar machine and a guy on full journeyman rate driving around picking up fourteen dollars worth of garbage. Ooh, oh that's cleanable. On these types of machines I'm always looking for the cheap way out, eh? I just want to know if it goes around and around up and down. I don't know what the mixture is though, do you guys? It says something on the cap here. Fuel oil. Two cycle oil, it says, of course. I wonder what the mixture is. Well, I would think 40 to 1 with the new fuels would work. Is there any levers or anything? I'm going to disconnect this. And we're going to run it off my tank, and I'm going to put some 40 to 1 in there and see if it runs. But first of all, let's just put, let's just put 15 cents of old fuel in there. See if it drips out. Oi! You know, that might not be that hard to fix. But now i got to clean that up. Definitely, before I can carry on and do anything else, I have to clean that up. We don't want to burn the place down, right? There, I'll just let that drain. And then I'll get my mop. And we'll mop that up. See you in a bit. Alright, my friends, it's been a while since I pulled a uh, Two stroke like this. Uh, just FYI, I've got it. I've got my little tank set up here, and the, it goes right into the carburetor. I've disconnected the gas line and the on-off switch and the crack there that leaks. And I primed it with a little bit of fuel. I'll prime it with a little bit more now. And it, I did pull it once. It has. Compression! So it should be a noisy thing. <laughs> yeah! getting fuel to it. Sort of. Let's try it again. Go straight choke. Are we on choke? Yes we are.
Well, that was fun. So I am not going to put a thousand hours into this. But I think I'm going to get some JB weld right on that crack right there. I'll sand it up good and rough. And I'll just poke it in and up and around. And uh, wait for it to dry and see if it leaks. I want to do one more thing with it. I want to see if it quits running when you lift the bag. I wanted to see if it's got a shut off. I don't think so. I don't think it's that sophisticated. Let's just start her back up again. And take the bag off just to see. I need a clamp! So it does disconnect the blade. It does turn the engine off when you pull off the uh, uh, bag. The sad part about it is that there's a, 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 a blocker that's not there now, right? Right there. I haven't seen one this fancy for a long. Never. I've seen never never seen one this fancy. But they are one of the more powerful. Woo! dropping everything and it's going crazy. They are one of the more powerful mowers you can get. And they probably mix out like 20, 30 to 1 or some ridiculous amount, eh? <laughs> yeah. So we got a little work to do. Okay, I'm going to turn this in until the crack appears again. It might be all the way up there, you know. I just want to expand a little. There. That's as far as it can go. Now, I'm going to drill my hole. Alright. Well, let's get some flashlight in there. Right there. We got gas filters to catch the goobers. Now I'm going to mix up some JB weld. And I don't know if I've got enough of this stuff, but it cures in five minutes. And it's uh, good on uh, gas tanks. I'm going to try the, the fast dry. I'm going to sand this down a bit. This is just a belt sander on a piece of wood. I think that's just enough to grab. I'm going to put as much as I can on there, of course. And blow the crap off that. Click up over here. And we're going to put the air filter back on. And dummy. And I've done this job. The blade's good. It's been maintained. Forget about slotted screws, how slippery they are, right? Now we wait for leaks. Oh, it's leaking. Son of a gun. Where is it leaking from? I'm going to get my light and my, my mirror. Looks 
like it's coming up from the back. Yep. It's got more than one crack, maybe. It's after I get the air filter on, too. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'm not going to give up just yet. Of course, I just... I'll tell you what I find when I get there. <laughs> okay, lots of movement here. The tank just pries up. You take these three bolts out, and it just pries up. I've almost got it. Like that. There's one. I've got one. The other two are just being stubborn. I'll let you watch for just a few minutes. Three sixteenths bolts, I can't believe that. yipper -roo. Okay, I got I got those two bolts out from that plate up under there. Let's see if we can get her now. Alright guys, I want you to watch this. I'm pressuring up this tank with this pump. And it's right underneath this flange here. There you go. And that's only about, that's at about two or three pounds of air. And I would have thought for sure, well this might be leaking a little bit right here, the sight glass for the tank too. Not enough to worry about it, but look at this one. Right there, right? And I can see where the crack is. It's, well, I don't know if I can get you in there, but it's right, it's right across there. So my repair worked. It doesn't bubble, I don't think. It doesn't leak. Just there. And that's where it was leaking when I before I took it off. So I got some more I'm gonna use some more JB weld on that. Okay, I put some JB weld on that crack on the flange. And I also put some JB weld on the front uh what do you call that? Window? Shows you how much gas you don't have. And I took it right down below this I couldn't I could not get this off I think they're they've become one with each other in some strange way I don't know how to do it I think it clips on but it's definitely at one time was supposed to be airtight so anyway I think that'll do it as I'm, it says it has to dry for 48 hours and it works because I used the pressure up this with with that pump that Ken from Ken Small Engines gave me so I guess I can't do anything on this old mower till tomorrow now that's kind of sad, huh? Thanks for watching. All right, back on the uh, John Deere, the leaky John Deere tank. Hey, I think I can blow just about two pounds with my mouth. It'll be a lot less pumping with my hands. So the first thing, if I blow into this right now, this, the gas valve, this gas valve is open. If I blow into here, I can I can hear the air escaping up top here. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna close that off with the plastic bag. Now all we do is need, all we need to do is hold back about uh, three pounds, right? So let's just I got a couple of ideas. Hmm. So let's just blow into here. Okay. Now 
I'm going to hook this up to this. This just saves a lot of pumping, eh? We'll see what I see. What kind of pipes I got? So now, can you see this? Not really. Okay, it is showing about two and a half pounds. I'm going to add to it. Oh, did I turn it on? No, I didn't. There. Okay, I can blow three pounds of air. <laughs> A good look at that. That's the air in the tank. And that's something. Almost three pounds. We'll take it to three. Okay, now let's get our squirter. Also did the sight glass over here, remember that? Oh, I just let the air out of it. Oh. Okay. We can do this again, that was kind of fun. Close the gas valve. Hook up the pump. And open this up. And we'll take it up to three. Okay, so you missed, I'll just come over here. You missed the tank install of the onto the uh, lawn wood, but I think you saw it come off. So I'm not worried, I'm going to just see now I can pull this guy to make it go. Well, it certainly is healthy. See if the tank leaks. I don't think it will. We'll find out. It does have a sight glass on the on the gas. I'm going to just take a felt pen marker and put it on there. I'll show you what I did there. There's one of the fixes, but there's the gas right there. So I put a mark. Right there. Sure, so the lawn boy's done, baby. As far as I'm going to take it.